this morning we want to give thanks to the Lord for the victory. Hallelujah. Has the Lord overcome for you? Then we give thanks. Has the Lord fought the battles for you? Then we give thanks. Has the Lord delivered you? We give thanks. So we want to take a moment of time and give thanks to the Lord. For his mighty hand has worked valiantly. To bring the victories to us. When you see God saying sing. People only sing after the victory. People don't sing during the war. They sing after the victory. They celebrate after the victory. So this morning, say thank you to Jesus for overcoming for us. This was the month of rest. Jesus taking over. And indeed he has taken over. And he has brought out us the victory. And we need to give thanks to him this morning. Just, just take a moment of time and just tell him thank you. Tell him thank you this morning. The battle he has done for this month, we could not have managed it. If he allowed us to do it, maybe we'll have done it for 40 years. For many years. But he came and took charge. He came to give us rest from all these burdens, from all these battles. He is the one who has brought the victory. He has won the victory for us. And he's worthy of all thanks this morning. It's good to come before the Lord with an attitude of gratitude. <laughs> Lifting his name high. Glorifying his name. Worshipping him. Because he has finished the work. He has finished the work. He has done it for us. So we need to give thanks to him. Thanks. Thanks. I give you thanks. For all you've done. I am so blessed. My heart is at rest. Oh. consumed us but the Lord quenched every fire
that it may not burn us, destroy us. The Lord overcame for us. He carried us. Even the waters could not overshadow us. We give him thanks this morning. He delivered us from serious diseases, serious pains, problems, issues. We say thank you, Lord. Even the battles that you have done that we have no idea of, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
for his mercy and dwelt forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of his of gods for his mercy and to our earth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for his mercy and to our earth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders. Forever. <laughs> to him that by wisdom made the heavens. Mercy and forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters. For his mercy and to him that made great lights. For his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day. For his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night. For his mercy endureth forever. To him that's more in their firstborn. For his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them. For his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm. To him which divided the red sea into parts for us to pass. For his mercy and, and made us to pass through the midst of it. For his mercy and but over through Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. For his mercy and to him who led his people through the wilderness. For his mercy and to him who smart great kings. For his mercy and, and the slew famous kings this month. <laughs> Sion, king of the Amorites, and the Og, the king of Bashan, and gave their land for an inheritance, even an inheritance unto us, his servants, who remembered us in our low estate, and has redeemed us from our enemies, who giveth food to all flesh. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven. Woo! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. We give him the glory this morning. For us to come to this, to this month, as you can hear, to Tashungulikiwa. But the Lord... Amen. Mungu wetu ni mkuu na kila goti litapigwa na kila ulimi utakiri kwamba yeye ni Mungu. Hakuna mwingine kama yeye. Amen. Amen. So today we have a reason to rejoice and praise the Lord and worship his holy name. Today is a good day. Revival day. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. We are here all the day. Amen. And we give glory to the Lord for giving us such a day to come. Imagine a month ending on a Sunday. It's a blessing. It's amazing, right? Amen. 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 So as we celebrate today, we are crossing over now to August. So we are going to cross to August in style Amen. today. Are you ready to do that with me? Yes. yes. So let's turn to Judges chapter 2. <clears throat> Verse 6 to 10. We've continued with the Lord has come to restore our souls. <clears throat> Part 4. A judge over Israel. Judges chapter 2. Verse 6 to to ten. And when Joshua had let the people go, the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to possess the land. Amen. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died. Being a hundred and ten years, that's where we shall go. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnatheres, in the mount of Ephraim, on the north side of Hilgash. And also all that, that all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. And there arose another generation after them, which knew not the God, the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done. For Israel. 
Israel had lived under the shadow of Moses and Joshua. And when they died, there was none to continue leading the nation. From then on, Israel was led by judges who God raised. Another generation arose that did not know God, neither his works, neither his wonders that he did in their midst. This is another labor of restoration. We have sought the Lord that he may restore the works of old, the wonders of old. But now I also bring us to another threshold. What of the generation that neither knows God nor the things he has done for Israel? So basically today we are saying, Lord, restore. Restore to us the works of old, the wonders of old, the miracles of old, the great things that you did of old. When a generation does not know God, neither the things he has done for Israel, then they become more wicked than the nations God has driven out for, for their sake. When our people do not know God, know the things he has done, then they forsake the God of their ancestors and instead follow other idols. Let's read verse 11 to 15. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Baalim. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtaro. And the anger of the Lord was host against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of the spoiler, that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed, as in that being the state of the church. And after they forsook the Lord, then we see, then God no longer fights for them. God no longer expands their territory anymore. In fact, God allows the raiding nations to chip away at the boundaries of Israel's tribes who have forgotten the Lord, their God. So when people forget the Lord, their God, then expansion stops there. And what happens is the enemy comes and starts raiding already that which you have recovered. Yet we see God do He's doing something strange here. Though he is angry with them, he still remembers his covenant with their fathers. The children are forgotten, but God is still faithful. While he no longer expands their boundaries, he does rescue them from total destruction. He did so then by raising them judges from among them. Let's read verse 16 to 19. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the land of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. <clears throat> and when the Lord raised them, when the Lord raised them, up judges, then the Lord was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For it repented the Lord because of their groanings by reason of them that oppressed them and faked them. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they again returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers in following other gods to serve them. And to bow down unto them, they cease not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn ways. After a judge dies, they go back again. So the Lord, because of the covenant, he comes again and raises them another judge. <laughs> In the lifetime of, of the judge, Israel then was restored. Their oppression was broken. Judges operated in a peculiar mandate, peculiar because 
their function went beyond one singular office and they were like, num like number one we see they are warriors these judges were warrior warriors like who? Othniel is an example the nephew of Caleb as well as Shamgar who struck down 600 Philistines they were God all these judges also they had gifts of they were like craftsmen we see a hood, a left-handed man who was able to create a short double-edged sword that used to slay King Eglon and then subjugate Moab. They were also, they also, their operations also went ahead and they were prophets and prophetesses. Let's read Judges 4, chapter, five, chapter 4, verse 4. <clears throat> And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. And she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramath and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. Deborah was able to solve the disputes of the nation as well as give instructions to his generals. She knew the seasons of God for victory. Like we know, the season of God for victory, isn't it? Deborah was also a prophetic worshiper. Woo! Glory be to God. This is the season of prophetic worship and praise. Her song of victory paints the picture of her ministry. She sang a song of victory. Let's go to Judges chapter 5. The prophetic brings leaders to lead again. It restores the people to willing and sacrificial service again. <laughs> when the princes in Israel take the lead, when the people willingly offer themselves, praise the Lord. <laughs> the prophetic also brings, you see, then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinoam, on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for their for the avenging of Israel, when the people will willingly offer themselves. Here, all ye kings, give here, all ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praises to the Lord, God of Israel. And today we go, here, all ye kings, give here, all ye leaders. Here, all princesses. Here, everyone here, us. Even us today, we will sing unto the Lord. We will praise the Lord God of Israel. <laughs> when the princes of Israel, in Israel, take the lead, when the people willingly offer themselves, praise the Lord. The prophetic also brings back the wonders of yesterday. And it teaches the generation of today again the things God has done. Basically, we are saying prophetic Prophetic brings, it brings back the memories and it puts people again in the things of God. The prophetic gives God the glory due his name. Amen. Amen. The one he is yet to receive from our generation that neither knows him nor his deeds. We see Deborah speak of the wonders Israel had seen in the wilderness of Sinai. Haven't we read that from verse 3? <clears throat> Let's read. From verse 3 to 5. Hear all ye kings, give ye all ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will, I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when thou wendest out of Seir, when thou marchest out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled, and the heavens dropped, the clouds also dropped water. The mountains melted from before the Lord. Even thus Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel. The prophetic also deals with the immediate past into the present. For Deborah, these are the days of Shamgar, the judge before her. This is her dispensation now. And she is simply stating that this an increasing 
measure from one judge to the next. In the days of Shamgar, even though he fought 600 Philistines, the victory of Deborah will be greater and greater. It will be greater because the prophetic moves men into position for battle and prepares them for victory. The prophetic action leads a nation into victory despite the strength of the enemies. The prophetic voice brings courage into the timid hearts of the people and stirs them up to do the, the bidding of God. We see that in verse 7. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. They ceased to go to war because they had no strength. They ceased in Israel until that I, Deborah, arose. And I arose a mother in Israel. <laughs> Amen. She brings to the attention of the leaders of Israel, to their singers, at the wells. Hallelujah. Did we not speak about the worshippers at the wells last week? Worshippers break forth springs of water. They are the singers at the wells and they are reciting songs of victory. We read from verse 10 to 12. It says word. Speak ye that ride on white asses. Ye that sit in judgment and walk by the way. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. In the places of drawing water. There shall, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall all the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake, utter a song, arise. Barak and lead the captivity, captive, thou son of Abinoam. Awake, awake eternity today. Awake and utter song today. Arise, kings. Arise, everyone, the youth, the children, the women, the men. And let's lead our captive captive. Hallelujah. Arise, Deborah. Arise, church. This is what the singers at the watering places are singing. Arise, Barak. Arise, Bishop, and take your captives captive. Arise and conquer worship team. Arise and restore the ruins. Arise and expand your territory. Arise and break forth. <coughs> Sorry. To the left and the right. Wake up, church, and take captives captive. Amen. Let us sing the song of the singers as a watering places. Arise. Arise, church. One man said like this. <coughs> <coughs> Deborah sang concerning the overflow of Israelites' enemies. <coughs> and the deliverance fought saved to the tribes. Then he said, we have a far richer theme for praise. We have been delivered from worse enemies and saved by a greater salvation. Isn't that us? Who else if not us? Who else if not this ministry? We have a greater and richer theme to praise the Lord today. Definitely we have been delivered from worse enemies who wanted to leave us behind the graves. And the Lord has saved us by a greater salvation. Let our gratitude then be deeper. Let our song be more jubilant today. Hallelujah. As in the Lord delivered us from worse enemies. Yes. Another man Luther, Luther, when he had been most slandered, <laughs> I like the, that, when he had been most slandered, haven't we been most slandered? <laughs> this church has been most slandered. <laughs> Every corner. 
people here have never shut their mouth to slander this work. This work belongs to God. And the Lord has overcome for us. So Luther, when he had been most slandered, when even the Pope had launched out a new bull, and when the kings of the earth had threatened him fiercely, is in the church now being threatened fiercely? As in the church being t today threatened fiercely? Yes. Listen to what Luther would do. He would gather together his friends and say, come, let us sing a psalm and despite the devil. Can we come as a church today and sing a psalm and despite the devil today? <coughs> yes? yes? In agreement? He would ever sing the most psalms. Today we are going to sing the most psalms. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> we are going to do what? To sing the most psalms like Luther. He lived in times of threat. Why would he sing the most psalms? He sang when the world roared the most. <laughs> The world is rolling the most. Every corner we are being threatened. And that's the reason why today we are going to sing and sing and sing and sing and sing and sing. As long as we have our voices, we are going to sing. Today we are going to sing until everyone loses their voice. As the world rolls the most. We are going to sing many psalms to the Lord. Hallelujah. For the victory that he has done us. For the victory that he has overcome for us. Let's read verse 24 and verse 27 of the same chapter. As we go to praise the Lord this morning. So today is a day of singing many psalms. As the world roars most, we are also going to sing so until the Lion of Judah roars also. Amen. Verse 24. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Harbor the king, the Kenite, be. Blessed shall be above women in the tent. He asked water and she gave him milk. She brought forth butter in a lordly dish. She put her hand to the nail and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisera. She, sm she smote off his head when she had pierced and stricken through his temples. At her feet she, he bowed and he fell. He lay down. At her feet he bowed. He fell where he bowed. There he fell down dead. The mother of Sisera looked out at her window and they cried through the lattice, why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariot? Hmm. Our wise ladies answered her, yeah. She returned, answered to her, have they not spared? Have they not divided the prey? To every man, a damsel or two. To Sarah, a prey of Diverse colors. I pray of diverse colors of needlework, of diverse colors of needlework on both sides, met for the necks of them that take the spoil. So let all thine enemies perish, O Lord, but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth into his might, and the land has rest forty years. Today, as we praise, the Lord is going to bring the last, it's like the last blow. Whew. As we worship and praise the Lord today, it's going to be like the last blow of this battle. Amen. Amen. The mother of Sisera will be looking at the window crying, wondering why her son's chariot has tarried long. Little did she know that the Lord had dealt with this enemy of Israel. 
Amen. Today we warned the mothers of the enemies tarry so long at their windows, but they will never see him appear because the Lord will have dealt with him. So let all thine enemies perish, but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might, and the land has rest for 40 years. Today is a prophetic day. As we praise the Lord today, God is going to give us a season of rest. The praise and worship we are going to do today, it culminates in some years of rest. <laughs> you may not understand, but Miriam wants rest. I want years of rest now. <laughs> you may not understand where we are coming from, but those who understand agree with me that indeed we need years of rest. So today we are finishing with the armies of the enemy. Sisera will go down under the hand and under the praise of the church of Jesus Christ today. And as we come to the month of August, we are starting a season of many years of rest. We are ushering, our, the Lord is ushering us to many years of rest. <laughs> Hallelujah. This excites me. But we have to bring this very last enemy down today. So that we may come to rest. Amen. This month was the Lord fighting for us. But now the month of anguish, we are entering into the rest of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. So let all thine enemies, Lord, perish. Today, let the enemies of the church be as gone as yesterday. So as we come with our praises today, there's a heavy work to be done today. <laughs> heavy work to be done today. We have to bring down every enemy now that has remained standing. Every mountain now must be moved to the sea. It's a must. It's not a request. And every valley today must be filled. And every crooked way must be made straight. And every rough road must be made smooth. Because we are coming to our rest. Let God arise and let all the enemies be scattered in Jesus' mighty name. So our praise and worship today is the kind that is going to silence the rolling world. There's no way the church every time can be mocked, can be talked evil. Today the Lord must fight for his bride. The bridegroom today is arising. Probably you thought he had gone on a journey, but today he has come back. You are not going again to play with the church of Jesus Christ. Because the bride today comes back. And as you've been rolling against the church and terrifying the church, the Lion of Judah shall roar against your life today. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord will bring his bride to a season of rest. How we give glory to the Lord today. We praise his holy name. Worship him come quickly. We praise his holy name. So we'll sing like Luther, many songs, many psalms today. Hallelujah. Amen. Not one, not two. We are not tired. This is a revival Sunday. So we will not be tired to bring as many as we can. Even if you hear this a song, we have forgotten about victory. You will sing it and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When the Lord says sing, the victory is done. Amen. Amen. He's telling us to do what? <laughs> sing, O oh barren, but that thou hast didst bear. Break forth today into singing. And a cry aloud. What are singing and a crying to do? Huh? <laughs> what are sing? What is the connection between singing? And the crying. <laughs> Cry aloud. 
Let me hear people cry aloud today. Woo. Where is the crying aloud? Where is the crying aloud today? Ukisikia mtashungulikiwa utalia ndani kana ama utalia Cry aloud then for the sake of the church let the Lord hear our cry today Hallelujah Let the Lord hear our cry today Let the Lord fight for us today Let the Lord overcome for us today <laughs> cry aloud. That's what the Lord is saying. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Her children were no more. She could not be comforted. She brought her cries to the Lord. This nation, we need to cry. We need to cry to the Lord to have mercy on us. Woo! Woo!
children of Israel, when they realize that the entire nation, Pharaoh is going to finish it, they cry to the Lord, and the Lord heard their cry, and he delivered them, he delivered them, he heard their cry, and he delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh. May the Lord hear our cry today, and deliver us from the hand of Pharaoh. Deliver the church from the hand of Pharaoh today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord hear the cry of the church today. And deliver us from the hands of Pharaoh. Woo! Woo!
in our distress, in our distress, as the church, in our distress, as the nation. We cry to the Lord today. We cry to the Lord today. We cry to the Lord today. Hear us, Lord, as you heard David, the way you heard Rachel, hear us. The way you heard the cry of your people, Lord, hear us. When they cried to you in distress, you heard them, Lord, and you delivered them, oh Lord. Deliver us as you hear our cry, Lord. Deliver us, oh Lord. Let the victory come, oh God. Overcome for us, oh God. Deliver us, oh God. Oh, Shalom Akosa. It's better to cry now than to cry after 9th of August. It's better to cry now than to cry after 9th of August. It's better to cry now and ask God in the few days remaining to change the history of this nation. To change the history of this nation. It's better we cry now than to cry after 9th of August. Oh, oh, hey, whoa, oh, 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 Jesus, oh, 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 fortify to fortify the walls oh Jesus hear our cry Lord today and overcome for us give us your victory Lord remember your covenant with your church Jesus you said you never leave us no forsake us you shall be with us till the close of age oh Lord you are the Lord, our God. We give you glory, our Father. We give you glory, our Father. Oh, Matthew. Rina la bakosa. Hela masia nakota. Mala madika salemodia. Liko seke le madia. Lima doka liko seke. Remada satula mashika. Rike le masaya madosa la mako. He la makalia dosa, lete le ba sheke le ba kosa, liama dai shiki le ba kosa, le posete le ba shai, riama kata la bosa ndele baka, olira da baka, rima sete. But Myers raised his voice, and he called on Jesus. He called on Jesus. He called on Jesus. And today we raise our voices. Oh, and we call on the Lord of the church. And the Lord of the church. We call unto him today. Come, Jesus. Welcome, Jesus. Roar today. In the midst of the rolling world today. The enemies are rolling. And Jesus, you roar like the Lion of Judah. Arise and the roar. And they roar, and they roar, and they terrify, and they consume, and destroy, and overcome for your church, Jesus. Reba shaka, harima kosalia, rema kasha na la boseke, reke sheke leba, riana makota la basai, rima kosali bakata, reke sheke leba, rema daseke leba. Oh, Riamakota la Asaka, Rema Shaka la Boset, Kuria Makasa la Ashaka, Oh, Rimakata, Rimakiatasa, Oh, Reke Sheke, Oh, Riamakata la Bosheke, Restore our souls, Lord, Restore the old miracles, Restore the old acts that you did in this nation, Restore, my Lord, Restore, Restore, my Father. We are crying to you for restoration. That which the kanga worms have eaten. That which the palm worms have eaten. That which the locusts have eaten. Even the, lang, the, the, the young locusts have eaten. Lord, we cry to you that you may restore. 
restore to us. Restore to us. Let our victories be bad again. Let our victories be bad again. Let them produce oil again. Let them produce again. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. We exalt you, our Father. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Like David, he cried unto you. And you rescued him. Rescue us. Rescue this nation from the hands of the wicked. Rescue, my Lord. Rescue. Restore. Restore this nation. Restore this nation. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O Father. We give you glory, Lord. We magnify you, our King. We worship you. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. He has heard our cries. Ah, he has heard our cry this morning. And now we praise him because he has come. He has heard our cry this morning. And he has come. Now it's time to celebrate. Now it is time to celebrate and give thanks because I have done it. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. celebrate, give thanks, give thanks, celebrate. <laughs>
kele kwa fura Yeni bwana vigele kele vigele 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 kele kwa fura Yeni kele kwa fura Oh, 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 oh,
Victory belongs to Jesus. Also coming to the month of election, victory belongs to Jesus. Whilst we are coming to the month also of prayer, victory belongs to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand? against the Lord who can stand against the King yeah. no one can yeah. no one will yeah. who can stand against the Lord who can stand against the Lord 
this morning. We are in his presence. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. He's exalted. There is no other God like him. Our hope is in him. We hope in him. We look to him. Blessed be his name, O oh Lord. We bless his holy name. We bless his holy name. Our being is from him. He is exalted. so much happening in the world but our hearts are rested in God we bless his holy name hallelujah hallelujah bless the
Hallelujah. 